Hello everybody, it's Detective C here and today I'll be showing you how to remove that annoying blinking light on your Xbox 360 control pad. This tutorial requires an internet connection, so what you'll need to do is connect your Pi to a router or switch using an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi dongle if you have one of them. I've chosen the cable option and no fancy setup was required. If you are having trouble, make sure you leave me a comment and we can sort that out. Keyboard is also required, so connect that however you feel comfortable. And let's get into the tutorial. First things first, we need to disable our current driver that we are using for the gamepad. To do this, press F4 to get to the console and type what you see on screen, which is sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash modprobe.d forward slash raspi dash blacklist dot conf. Once we're in this file, we'll need to add the line blacklist xpad to the bottom of the file. This will disable our default gamepad driver and allow us to install the Xbox 360 driver from the internet. That's all for this file, so hit Ctrl plus X, press Y to save, and hit Enter to overwrite our original file. Next we want to run RetroPySetup.sh. This has the option for installing the Xbox 360 pad driver, so we don't have to worry about any commands. To do that, ignore what you see on screen and type sudo dot slash home slash pi slash RetroPySetup. Make sure the R, P, and S are capitals, forward slash RetroPy underscore setup dot sh, and that is lowercase. Once we are in, go to option 3, which is Setup, hit Enter and go right to the bottom, Install Xbox 360 Controller Driver. Hit Enter and your Pi will download the necessary files from the internet for this. Now if you get any errors here, it means there is something wrong with the internet connection and you'll need to troubleshoot that first. Cancel out of this and we have one more file to edit before we are almost done. Type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash rc dot local. Hit enter and we want to add the following line displayed on screen to the end of the file but just above exit zero. Now if you have more than one Xbox controller connected you will need to add this line again changing ID from zero to one for your second controller, from one to two for your third controller and so on. LED 2 will also change to LED 3, 4 or 5 depending on how many controllers you have connected. I've set mine up for just one controller, but make sure you add as many lines as you do controllers. Now one other thing to be aware of is your ID. Now I'm using a wired controller, so I use ID space 0. If you're using wireless, make sure to use WID. So wireless is a WID and a wired controller is just an ID. Also, please be aware that this line that I have highlighted right now will not exist in your file and that will be added by the system after reboot. So now we're almost done. Save and exit this file and type sudo space reboot to restart your system. Once emulation station loads, you will have to go into your menu using our assigned start key on our keyboard. For me, that's enter and configure our, and configure our gamepad again for menu navigation. You may have to set up some keys again in your emulators, but for you guys that should be pretty easy by now so I won't go into that in this video. The Xbox pad should no longer be flashing, so double check that and let me know if you have anything different showing. Thanks again for watching guys, make sure to like, subscribe and comment, and head over to my channel for more RetroPie tutorials. See you next time.